welcome back to my channel as y'all can already tell by the title what this video is going to be about women that you should avoid if you haven't watched my last video that i've done already regarding men to avoid go ahead and watch that video before watching this and i had to do one regarding women for the men because this isn't just a, a, a bashing session for men or nothing like that. My last video, which I something I should have stated, which is just strictly to help people in relationships. Because at the end of the day, our relationships definitely do affect our spiritual relationship uh, with God. It can and it will. Um, so that's why I'm doing doing these videos about men you should avoid. And like this video that you're watching now, which is women to avoid women you should avoid and women you should stay away from um this is like relationship advice dating advice but again this is still women you should avoid because like i just said this stuff definitely can't affect your spiritual relationship and connection with god it really can that's why we're only supposed to be with a certain type of man and women and that's why it's so important to be equally yoked that's why in the bible it says to be equally yoked equally yoked share the same religion it's about being equally yoked in every area finances um how you're going to raise your children um just your whole perspective on stuff. That's not to say that y'all are going to agree on every single thing. That's not what that means. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. So the first thing that I want to get into is the type of woman that you should avoid is a woman that cannot get along with your mom. A woman that cannot get along with your mom. And... I mean, when the woman, your woman, your girl, your girlfriend, your lady, your partner is the issue. Because we all know that moms tend to be the issue in their son's relationship. So I am speaking strictly on when you know your woman, your lady, your partner is the issue. These are the type of woman that you should avoid. Because if your mom is being a mom, doing everything she's supposed to do she's not meddling in your relationship she's not um giving you bad advice when it comes to her because um as we know moms can be jealous or feel like oh she's taking my son away from me and you know they try to disrupt the relationship that y'all have and you know just a bunch of different reasons and things but um when the woman is the problem that's a problem because if your mom isn't doing none of those things to disrupt and mess up your relationship, is really being a mom and really, you know, stays out your business. You know, if you come to her for advice and she gives you some good sound advice because you came to her, that's different. But I mean, basically, the mom is being a mom. She doing what she's supposed to do. Why is your woman not being able to get along with your mom? Like, that's something that you should definitely look into because a lot of times your woman, your partner, your lady can be the issue and she can be the one that's jealous maybe she's jealous of you and your mom's relationship because that does happen it can happen and it does happen maybe she's jealous maybe she wants to be the only woman in your life she doesn't care about a mom or a sister or a cousin no she wants to be the only woman involved in your life and then why are you feeling that way is it because you're insecure you're jealous um you're controlling it can be a bunch of different reasons so i think that that's something you definitely should avoid or definitely keep an eye out to see how she gets along and interacts with the woman in your lives not just your mom but like i said your sisters and stuff like that too something else i wanted to mention is maybe your partner or your woman can't get along with your mom because she expects a certain type of treatment from your mom that your mom isn't giving or your sister isn't giving or or whoever the woman in your lady in your life is sorry maybe she's expecting something that she isn't getting and that expectation probably is unrealistic anyway so the next um, type of woman that I want to talk about that you should avoid is a unclean woman. You do not want to deal with a unclean woman because cleanliness is next to godliness. And so, you know, even when it comes to a man, you got to be clean. I don't care if you're a woman or a man, you have to be clean. But 
I put this in a woman's category is because um, women are normally the ones to take care of the household more so than the men. When it comes to cleaning, when it comes to cleaning and washing up the kids, doing hair, um, you know, doing the dishes, cooking, all those type of things. Normally, the woman is, is typically the one to do that. And so that's why I put this in a woman's category. But at the end of the day, I don't care who, what, where you need to be clean. Um, but anyways, cleanliness is next to godliness and it's a known fact that when your place is clean, your bed is clean and made up, your your covers, your clothes, you washed up, all that stuff, you, it's a known fact that you do sleep better at night. You do. You sleep better. You have a better peace of mind too, not just at night, but just overall, you have a better peace of mind when your house is clean. So I think you should avoid someone that is not clean. Um, because this can definitely, it, it, it definitely plays on your mental. And I mean, yeah, there's some people out there that, that aren't clean and it doesn't bother them, but I don't feel like that's normal. I just don't. It's, it's not normal. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And if they lack that, I'm pretty sure there's a good reason why. Um, maybe how they were raised, maybe, um, I don't know. They could just not care. And, but you want to get to the reason of why don't you care? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I'm not going to get into all of that. And not only do you need her to be clean household wise and all of that. And when it comes to the kids and stuff, but you want to make sure she's keeping her hair clean, her mouth clean and her private parts clean. So, yeah. And it's like, so how clean are you? If your house ain't clean and like how clean is your body i don't know y'all overall just stick to a clean woman and when i say a clean woman that doesn't mean that everything has to be spick and span because that can be unrealistic especially when you have kids and you're a working mom and or in school you know so or and even a single mom so everything isn't going to just be spick and span but definitely keep everything decent looking at the least the next type of woman that i want to get into that you should avoid is a woman who is always angry always causing problems whether it's in your relationship or just someone or just within your uh family friend friend group and all of that stay away from a woman that is just very argumentative that is so frustrating annoying and can be very stressful stay away from an angry woman um because obviously she has some work to do on herself before she continues in the relationship or dating whoever it is she's dating it just needs to stop it's it can be very toxic and yes, that can go for a man as well um, who wants to be with an angry man. But right now, this video is more so about the woman. But again, you don't want to deal with an angry woman. The Bible says in Proverbs, it is better to live on the housetop in a corner than to live with a contentious woman, than to live with an angry woman. Nobody wants to deal with that and that's just like a woman that's nag that nags i know y'all have always heard for years even since i was a kid i don't want no nagging wife or all my wife do is nagging blah 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 this and that and you know nagging pretty much is like being argumentative now i know in some instances some women may nag because their husband isn't hearing them. The husband is in the wrong and he's not making the proper steps to fix and compromise and to communicate their issues so they can fix it or whatever the case may be. I know those type of things happen, but that's not what I mean. But anyway, so again, stay away from an angry woman. Not only is it stressful, annoying, and um, overbearing and stuff like that, but like I said, it's toxic and what if you or her end up in jail behind the anger where the bible says to be slow to anger and you have to be forgiving kind she's doing the whole opposite you want somebody to be your peace right so stay away from angry women another type of woman to stay away from is a woman who doesn't 
allow you to hang out with your friends who doesn't give you that me time that you need who is just overbearing in that area a woman who also always wants to be around you and your 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 friends your homeboys when it comes to stuff like that and why why is she over there is is this is y'all time and this is guys talking so she shouldn't be involved in that and why is she always trying to be involved in that and then on top of that being very revealing you don't want a woman who is very revealing now i know some women show skin and all this stuff but it's a time and a place for that um of course when it comes to being a christian and all of that no don't show a bunch of skin like that period at all but i'm just saying if you do accept that and your woman is like that i feel like definitely it's a time and place for that you don't want your woman coming out and bras and panties knowing that your homeboy's in the living room waiting on you or whatever you don't want your woman wearing coochie cutter shorts and a half shirt that stops like right under the boob and it's nothing but guys what type of attention is she giving out and seeking at the same time that doesn't make sense at all because then that sounds like you're trying to get your she's trying to get your friend's attention as well as um wants them to hit on them and notice her and all this other type of stuff but you should only have eyes for your man and vice versa so um i would definitely watch out for a woman who is like that when it comes to being revealing and when it comes to um just never allowing you to be by with your friends and, and hang out or always wants to be in the mix of that with you and your friends instead of just giving you that time to won't. stay away from is a lazy woman you do not want to deal with a woman that is lazy um lazy when it comes to cleaning lazy when it comes to working all of those type of things because it comes off as if she's just using you um when you're in a relationship or married or whatever it's supposed to be a partnership both of y'all working together how are y'all working together if you're the only one doing everything that's stressful um it's stressful it's um it's a it's just a lot. It's a lot to deal with. And you don't want to be the only one doing everything because at this point, why are you even in a relationship? You might as well be by yourself. If you're going to deal with someone that's just lazy like that, at this point, you just might as well be you just might as well be alone. There's no reason of being in a relationship or a partnership or whatever. Are you in that relationship just to say you have a woman? Are you in that relationship just to feel more safe when it comes to having sex? But again, because I don't understand why you would even stay in that relationship once you notice or see that she is like that. Yeah, you may love her or whatever, but she can't love herself or truly love you being lazy and just putting all the work off on you. Because I feel as though if 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 a woman really loves her man and vice versa, even a man with a woman, you wouldn't even want to see them struggle and do everything on their own. You will want to take some of that load you will want to step in and, and help and say hey what do you need from me what can I do or whatever the case may be and just to be honest some things she should just already know what to do because everybody knows that bills have to be paid everyone knows that the household needs to be clean you know those type of things so that's what I say about being lazy because the bible even speaks about has several different bible verses about laziness and that goes for everyone. We are not to be lazy. When it comes to our spiritual aspect, our physical, our mental, we are not to be lazy. Last but not least, y'all, the last type of woman that I'm going to speak on is a woman that is materialistic. We do not want to be with a woman that is materialistic um materialistic women to me has their minds set on the wrong things their minds are definitely set on the wrong things because life has so much more to offer than materialistic things you don't want a woman that's materialistic because does she truly love you or your things and what you can provide i would think about that because yes everybody 
likes something materialistic, whether they're, they're into shoes, clothes, purses, um, just getting gifts, period, um, cars or watches or um, you getting their hair and uh, uh, getting their nails done. Um, you know, just whatever the case may be, everybody likes something that's material, materials, but like something that's a material. But the thing is, you don't want a materialistic person. Because like I said, at the end of the day, it's like, are they really with you or what you give them and what you can provide? That relationship will never work. It will never last. You want somebody that truly wants you for you. Even if you have the money to provide these different things, you still don't want a woman that is only in it for what you can give them. Because again, that's not true love. That's not somebody that truly wants you for you. And that means when stuff get rough, they gonna dip. When stuff get hard, they ain't even gonna try to uplift you, encourage you, or work through it with you. You need somebody that's truly there for you. And the material things is supposed to be the icing on the cake or the cherry on, the, on top. It is not supposed to be the foundation. And materialistic women, that, that's what it is. Materialistic women make materials the foundation. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Material stuff should be the cherry on top, not the foundation. Because then, I mean, of course, that's not even truly a foundation. Another reason why you don't want a materialistic woman is because material stuff can be done away with at with the blink of an eye. Whether God takes it from you or her, whether um someone comes and rob you or you just something goes wrong in life and you end up going in debt or just whatever the case may be. And then on top of that, eventually this world will be done away with. So you don't want to lose your chance in heaven or and leave and living eternally because you're so materialistic. And then you don't want your woman to, especially y'all have kids or, or talking about having kids, you don't want her to teach your kids those same type of ways. We should not set our heart and mind on material things because some people will actually lose their life to this world and lose their chance to even make it into heaven because they put material things before God and just before a lot of things in life. So this video isn't to say that every man or woman is perfect. This isn't to say that everyone isn't going to have their issues or have things that they need to work through because everyone has some type of issue, whether it's insecurities, jealousy, um, their communication style, whatever the case may be, everybody deals with something in their lives, but it is up to the individual first. And then as y'all as in a relationship to work at it and want to work at it and to just take accountability and to really have empathy within relationships and forgiveness, because at the foundation of for a relationship to work, it has to take, it takes two forgiveness, empathy, um, trust, communication, and most of all, to keep God in the midst of it, because without these things, how can a um, healthy, true relationship really form and thrive? OK, y'all. So that is all that I have for this video today. I hope that y'all really learned something from this video, take away something from this video and really enjoyed it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Press the notification bell and comment anything down below that you feel needs to be down below to help someone or to share your story or just to tell me what y'all think about this video. And with that being said, I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.